In this video, we'll be staking cryptocurrency on Binance. I'm going to show you how to navigate the platform right here and also some of the things that you should consider when staking crypto. For example, lockup periods and how much uh, yield you're actually getting from that staking. So I'll leave all the timestamps for each section down in the description below. There are some other videos as well that you might find helpful that I'll reference in this video. I'll leave everything down there for you in the description. Um, so first, we need to come to the Binance platform and then go to the earn section. You can go to Binance Earn or Binance staking um, and then navigate to, to that. Now, if you don't have a Binance account yet, link in description to a $600 deposit bonus. You can deposit some crypto. They'll give you uh, deposit bonuses there. So check that link if you want. Um, so we're going to go to Binance Earn. And then down here, we have some different options. Now, I'm going to cover staking and not savings. It's very different between the two. Savings is essentially like a savings product where you get yield for giving your assets over to Binance. Staking is when they actually use proof of stake cryptocurrencies. They go and stake your crypto on the blockchain and then you get that staking reward. Um, it's usually much more fixed to get a yield from staking rather than lending, which can change around. So um, what we're going to go and do is press staking right here and you can see the options. You have locked staking, ETH 2.0 and DeFi staking for right now. So we're going to go on lock staking first and then show you how that works. Lock staking is when you lock up your coins for a certain period and you can choose that dependent on the coin and the options that Binance gives you. So with a lock, obviously you lock it up and you can't access those coins um, after or before a certain time. So what you can do is come to lock staking and then search for the coin that you want. Now, the only coins that are supported right here are staking cryptos, right? So by, uh, Bitcoin is not supported because it's not a staking cryptocurrency. So you can choose ADA or something like that and go and search for it and it's right here, or you can just look through all of the supported staking coins, which there are 101 for the time being. Really simply, you just have to obviously have some of that crypto in your account first and go and buy it. I've got a beginner's guide for Binance if you wanna check that out in the description, um, but we're gonna to go to ADA like this, and then you have these options. So the first thing is the estimated APR. This is the yield that you're getting. So Cardano is a proof of stake crypto. It pays a staking reward on the blockchain, and that is what Binance is doing for you. Well, actually, some of the yield comes from Binance depending on the product, but we can see that the 120 duration days is actually sold out, so you can't do that anyway. If you go down to 90 days, you can see stake now as an option. So you can choose which ones you know, are in and out. Um, now you can see that 90 days actually gives you a much higher APR. Now what Binance may be doing here is taking some of that crypto and actually staking it, but also giving quite a high APR for this um, suggests to me that Binance may be using the coins in their exchange for certain reasons. Some people uh, need coins to trade with and things like that. So they're actually giving you a higher reward. I don't think they're just directly staking because ADA pays around 5% and not 12. So just be sure to know that, you know, using a centralized uh, platform, they can use the coin as they want. But if you go down to 60 days or 30 days, this is commensurate to what ADA is actually paying on the blockchain right now. All we have to do is go and stake. You obviously need the crypto in your account. Choose locked right here and then choose the duration. Locked amount, you can choose any amount that is down and allowed. So the minimum is one ADA and the available quota is what, 500,000 ADA per time. Now you can go to auto staking here and um, you know click this on or off. Auto staking means that if it's you know a 60 day lockup period, after 60 days, the platform will auto restake for you. So it will just you know keep doing it rather than you having to jump in and redo it yourself. You can see a summary of the dates right here as well. You know, stake date, value date, value dates when it expires, and then the interest period, which is every day. So they'll pay you you know daily interest on that, um, and then the you know estimated APR and the estimated interest. So if you had you know thousand thousand ADA in here, it would tell you the estimated interest after that 60 days. Um, also just you know check the terms and conditions here to exactly how they pay you that reward. It should be fairly reliable because staking rewards are fairly reliable. Go to I accept the conditions and then press confirm. Then you'll be staked for 60 or 30 days, whatever you choose. Now you can actually uh, take this out of staking as well early if you want. What you can do is go to your earn section and look at all the cryptos that you're currently staking. So if you go up to your wallet and then uh, fiat and spot account or overview, come to the left-hand side, press earn, go over to staking. What you'll see is cryptos that you have currently staked. If you go over to the right-hand side and click redeem earlier, you can click on this. And now what you have is the ability to actually redeem. 
Now, the problem is, is that you don't get your staking rewards when you redeem early, but you do get your principal back. So that's up to you. If you really need the coins or you want to sell them straight away, you can agree to the terms. You give up all of your interest that you've earned, but you do get your principal back. And I think that takes about a day to actually come back into your account. Now, if you want to stake ETH on the platform, you can do that as well. Currently, as of making this video, ETH 2.0 isn't here yet, or the, the merge, the upgrade to ETH isn't here yet. And so you can stake ETH in its own uh, special platform. After the merge happens, ETH will just be a staking asset just like all the others that you just search and, and uh, get in and out of very easily. As of right now, this is how you do it. Come to uh, the staking part and just go over to Binance ETH 2.0 staking. What you'll see is that if you give ETH up to them, you can stake in the ETH 2.0 contract for around about 5.2% right now. That does change, but it is around 4 or 5%. All you have to do is have ETH on the platform and click stake now. You can then choose how much you want to stake. Now notice there isn't a lockup period because the ETH 2.0 lockup period as of making this video is around about six to 12 months. So you have to lock up your ETH in the contract for six to 12 months before you can take it out. Um, but I explain another way that Binance actually give you liquidity as well. Um, so what happens is you can just put, you know, an amount of ETH that you have and you lock that up but you also get distributed something called BETH, which is Binance ETH. So with ETH, with the ETH 2.0 merge, you'll be getting an interest rate and that will accrue to you and you can only take out your principal when ETH 2.0 unlocks and you can actually take it out of that contract. In the meantime though, what Binance do is actually give you a derivative token. So this token right here, Binance ETH, um, is something that you hold and it gives you liquidity in your position uh, when you otherwise wouldn't have it. So you do lock up your ETH and you can't take that out. But Binance give you this secondary token that is almost one for one with ETH. Now, this gives other people, if they trade it with you, the ability to unlock ETH after the unlock occurs on the Ethereum blockchain. So what you're doing is locking up your ETH and getting what's called a staking derivative token. So this should have around about a one-to-one -one value with ETH because it is a it is an option to redeem for ETH after the unlock occurs in six to 12 months. If I just explain that a little bit more simply, you can actually trade B ETH with ETH. So your ETH is locked up and you can't trade it, but because you have B ETH, in a one for one ratio, you can then go and actually trade it for ETH if you want. So this is a way of locking up your ETH. And let's say in three months time, you really need that ETH back. Well, you've got that B ETH and you can swap it for ETH. Now this is given to you on a one for one ratio when you supply. So if you supply one ETH, you'll get one B ETH. But when you trade it, you can see it trades at a little bit of a discount. So this trades on you know 0.95, meaning you're giving up 5%. Now that makes sense because people are giving you ETH uh, that um, that is locked up, right? So they can only redeem that B ETH in six months time. And so they're obviously not gonna buy it one for one because there's risk involved, there's some time involved as well. And so they're not gonna bid one for one. Um, they're gonna bid right now 95 cents on the dollar or you know 0.95 ETH for your B ETH. So to get liquidity early, you're paying a 5% fee, but you can do that right here. Next though, you might see something called DeFi staking, which I'll go over now. This isn't actually staking, this is more like lending. So just to be really clear here that uh, what is happening is lending and not staking, right? Very different. Nothing wrong with lending, but it's good to know the difference. Many coins are not supported here, but if we unlock them, you'll see that Bitcoin is supported and ETH currently sold out, so you can't choose those. If you go to Flexible Lock, again, both sold out, but there are a few coins that you can actually use here and press stake. Now, this is called DeFi staking because Binance is essentially uh, a portal that lets you use a blockchain. So instead of having to do that yourself, they kind of do that for you right within the Binance app, which is convenient, but obviously there's a centralized party in the middle. Um, but let's say, for example, you wanna stake one of these tokens, Aave or DYDX. 
you can see that um, they actually use the Arvo protocol and the DYDX protocol. So Binance are acting like a middleman here and putting your crypto over on those platforms. Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, some is staking, for example, DYDX and Aave, they, they are staking for those applications, but you need to know what they're doing on their apps to give you that reward as well. So uh, it might be different for every app. Go over to the app itself to understand how they're paying you those rewards and if you wanna do it. But there are others, for example, on Venus, you can see here Venus. Venus is actually a lending uh, protocol on Binance Smart Chain. So you can go and stake US dollar Tether right here and do it in exactly the same way as you would with staking. But what it's doing is actually going over to Venus protocol on the Binance Smart Chain and lending it out. Now this is actually Venus right here. It's a lending protocol. You're not staking, you're lending your coins out to other people that pay you a yield. And you can see the yield right here. You've got ETH and uh, BNB coin and US dollar tether. There are lots of coins that you can lend out, but this is lending and not staking. In reality, it doesn't matter too much as long as Venus uh, you know, does what it says on the tin, which for the most part it does. Um, you can get an extra yield here with DeFi if you want, uh, or you can actually stake those other cryptos in the staking part of the app. I've got a, a tutorial on Venus and Binance Smart Chain. I'll leave them both in the description if you wanna learn more about those. Also, if you want that $600 deposit bonus on Binance, that link is down there as well. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.